another country is facing possible U.S. sanctions. This time, Egypt is finding itself in the bullseye of the Trump administration. Well, Washington is now warning Cairo of possible sanctions over its decision to purchase Russian warplanes. RT correspondent Saya Tavinger has been following this story, and she joins me now from the newsroom with those details. Saya. Yes, Farron, this deal between Russia and Egypt was actually signed at the end of 2018, and the delivery of the aircraft are set to begin as early as 2020. Now, this is a $2 billion contract for the supply of more than 20 S-335 fighter jets, but comes amid growing U.S. pressure on countries worldwide not to buy Russian-produced arms. In fact, in 2017, President Trump signed the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act, known as CATSA which aims to punish Russia for actions that include alleged election interference. Now, under that legislation, countries trading with Russia's defense and intelligence sectors can face secondary sanctions. But as Russia is becoming one of Egypt's major arms suppliers, the U.S. is warning Egypt that they could lose the $1.3 billion that they receive in annual security assistance. Now, and that warning came in a letter on Wednesday from Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Secretary of Defense Mark Esper urging Egypt's defense minister to cancel a deal to buy Russian warplanes. Now, that letter, which was reviewed by the Wall Street Journal, said Egypt risks sanctions on their cats up. But Egypt has always been a very close Middle Eastern ally to the U.S. Now, take a look at, at this list. Egypt is, in fact, such a close ally that it ranks fifth in countries that the U.S. gives military, military aid to. And since, this time, and since his time in office, President Trump has worked very hard to build close ties with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. So this could, at a minimum, complicate future Washington and Cairo ties. Egypt is not the only country currently mm -hmm. being threatened with U.S. sanctions over military deals with Russia, right? I mean, who else are mm -hmm. we looking at that's yeah, going that's, to the same thing? <laughs> right, that's exactly right, Farron. President Trump is also warning Turkey over their decision to buy a Russian air defense system amid strained relations between the two NATO allies. Now, in an interview on Thursday, actually, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said that it was a concern for all the alliance that Turkey decided to acquire Russian uh, defense systems. It is a national decision to acquire uh, defense systems. Uh, at the same time, I have expressed my concerns about the consequences of the uh, Turkish decision to acquire Russian uh, air defense system, the S-400. Uh, these systems cannot be interoperable, not be integrated into the NATO uh, air defense uh, system. We have an integrated air and uh, missile defense system, and the S-400 cannot be part of that. Farron, the U.S. says that the Russian air defense system is not compatible with NATO forces and could compromise the F-35 fighter jet program and aid Russian intelligence, which is why the Trump administration removed Turkey from the F-35 program in July. Reporting in the newsroom, Sai Tavinger, RT.